denied the shot. Millionaires off the break. Scott, right past Simmons. Myers, Henry, Shetler, the lob to the big guy off the puck fake. Yes, that's they got to keep going back to him. Kick out. Goff gives it back to Lynch in the paint. Nice feed to Anderson. Millionaires with nine. Off the drive. Pretty play by Wilson. Junior drives, misses, Mason. Yeah. Better make it right now. You can't wait too late. Fish from three. And a good rebound by Simmons. Simmons runs it up in traffic and Scott jams it up. It's been an exciting PIAA playoff run, and now in the Greater Williamsport area, there's one team left. It's the St. John Go Newman Golden Knights, and the Golden Knights today here at Pottsville's March Hall take on the Lions of Faith Christian Academy. They're out of Sellersville. That's in the, the Quakertown, Doylestown area. Hi, everybody. I'm Ken Sawyer, along with Dave Mayer. Welcome back to March Hall. Dave's been living here for about a week now, along with all the rest of the crew, right? <laughs> well, we did a doubleheader on Thursday night. By the time I get home, it was time to get stuff ready and turn around and come back here this morning. So, yeah, we basically have been living here. The Golden Knights have been spectacular the last couple of years. They keep getting deeper into the playoffs. This year, with the six classifications, they've got a tremendous opportunity to move on to the semifinals on Monday. Yeah, you're right, Ken, but they're down to the Elite Eight right now, and when you say Elite Eight, you're playing against some good teams. They're playing against a good team today. It's going to be a great matchup. Both these teams have played teams that are still in the playoff. Uh, St. John Newman beat York uh, County Day, uh, which is in the playoffs in the top of the bracket. And on the other side of that bracket is Girard College, and Girard College uh, it was uh, played earlier uh, against uh, Faith Christian and beat them. So they were the number one team out of District 1, and the number two team out of District 1 then was was Faith, uh, Faith Christian Academy. And they both have played Leadership Learning Academy, and they both won by basically the same score in the 70s to in the 40s. That's the only common opponent between these two teams. There's a lot of similarities between these two teams. We'll talk about that when the Fast Facts come up next on our pregame show for the Fairfield Dealerships. Rainy Road Armel, congratulations. 38 years, another successful year. What have you seen change most in the insurance industry? Uh, let's look at it this way, Gary. 38 years and I'm 67 years old, and I have no tension, intention of retiring because I still enjoy what I do. I still like working with the clients. Many things have changed. To me, the main focus is making sure people have adequate liability limits. Lawsuits have escalated. Uh, people used to sue for 100000 now they're suing for 500 We do not want to see a client ever come up short on the end if there is a lawsuit and they are held liable. What impresses me the most is the fact you're not another number at Rennie Road or Armel Allstate. You're part of the Rennie family coverage and making sure great follow-through service. That's what it's all about for you guys for all these years. Exactly. Taking care of the client, being there if it's a phone call at 6 in, in the morning or 8 at night is important. When people are concerned, we want to be there to put their mind at ease and let them know we're going to help them take care and get through whatever problem they may have. Be part of the Rennie Road Armel Allstate family. Call them today. Make the switch. 326-6645. For the finest detail and handcrafted jewelry, there is one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Golden Strip in Williamsport. Let them make you an original. And remember, they are your diamond headquarters. Absolutely the best prices, bar none, on diamonds anywhere in Central PA. And of course, the finest gemstones in the world today, from sapphires to tanzanite. Now is the time to let them make you an original. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, your diamond headquarters, Golden Strip. Griggs's Coffee and Peanuts in Dolly's Diner, serving three meals seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., 3 p.m. on Sundays. House-made desserts, including famous Griggs's Sticky Buns, Coffee, Peanuts, and Peanut Butter, and specialty drinks. Griggs's Coffee and Peanuts in Dolly's Diner, just off North Loyal Sock Avenue in Mentorsville. Hi, this is Scott from Harder Sporting Goods. You've known us as your baseball headquarters for years. But now we'd like you to know we have a full line of football equipment like Under Armour cleats, receiver's gloves, shoulder pads, pants, 
anything that you need for your individual or team needs. And also we can do your awards for your end of the year banquets. Come see us at Harder Sporting Goods, 2098 Lycoming Creek Road, where we play to win. When it comes to cars, there are so many options. But when it comes to people, there's only one dealership you can trust. Fairfield Auto Group is that dealership. The one that understands you. We aren't just a dealership. We are a part of your community. We are your neighbors. Fairfield, you're gonna love us. Welcome back to the Fairfield Auto Group pregame show for Bartsall and Pottsville, the St. John Newman Golden Knights against the Faith Christian Academy Lions. And when you look at the teams left in the playoffs, you see a lot of parochial school types <laughs> that are left in this playoff. Well, I tell you, uh, one of the teams that was really tough to get a feel on was, was uh, uh, Faith Christian because most of their schedule was against Christian schools. And a lot of those schools I had never ever heard of or knew even about all right, when I was going down through the list. They, they did play a couple of teams that were recognizable. Uh, they played Whitehall, lost to Whitehall. Right. Uh, York County Day, you already talked about, they, uh, they beat them. Uh, but uh, basically the schedule was a lot of Christian schools. They look good on paper. They're a big team, all right, but we don't know what type of opponents they faced, and St. John Newman is a qualified opponent without let's, losing a game this season. Well, let's put all of that into the Palco Federal Credit Union Fast Facts. So you already started through the Fast Facts. Any other ones you want to add in on that? Well, you know, the only the other one I wanted to add in was that uh, the uh, St. John Newman, uh, led by Kevin Anderson, but they have come along. They have started to build uh, this team and get a lot of good play out of other players. A lot of that has to do with Kevin and Kevin Anderson. He is a very unselfish player. He does not need to score. He likes assists as much as he likes scoring and rebounds as much as he likes scoring. One other note, these teams average about 65 points a game, both of them, and give up right around 40 or just under 40 points a game. A lot of similarities. Let's talk about the Price Optical Athletes of the Week. We'll start with Landon Henry out of Hughesville, babe. Well, Landon Henry is was a quarterback of the football team, quarterback of the basketball team. There you see him making a basket on the screen. It, he, uh, he, he really was the leader of this team, and uh, both teams, similarly, did very well when they got to the playoffs, all right, and a lot of that had to do with him. Excellent player. This is his senior year. It was a shame to see him go. And let's talk about another Price Optical Athlete of the Week, and that's Jaden Lyncher we're going to see in just a few minutes for St. John Newman, and I think he fits in, babe, to what you were just talking about. That team has grown up around Kevin Anderson, and Kevin knows how to take advantage of it. And I, I think Jaden Lynch may be one of the players that benefited the most from that. Everyone wants to take Kevin Anderson out of the game. When they do, Jaden Lynch and company take over the game, and they play just as well as, as Kevin Anderson. Can, not as well as Kevin Anderson, I shouldn't say that, but they make up the difference. Kevin makes them look good, and they have made themselves look better. Mike Kirby's very pleased the way his Golden Knights have improved from last year to this year. So those are our Price Optical Players of the Week and our Fal Palco Federal Credit Union Players of the Game. When we come back, we'll look at our Alborano Construction Impact Players and see who they are for this one. Ray-Ban, Nike, Polo Ralph Lauren, Maui Jim, Costa, Gucci, Wiley X. Price Optical has the widest selection of sunglass eyewear in the area. Attention gas workers and outdoorsmen and women. Wiley X sunglasses are ANSI safety rated and military ballistic certified. At Price Optical, we set our sights on your vision. Our focus is on providing you complete quality eyewear. Price Optical, for the finest in eyewear. Jim Moff, Moff & Associates, you've been at it for 30 plus years. The biggest kick you must get is helping so many people out achieve the proper retirement with the money they really need, right? Correct. Now, there's some folks uh, that really don't have a lot of assets, but we're able to help them to achieve uh, financial success for retirement. Uh, a little bit of discipline and some savings each month will get them there. Jim Moff, Moff & Associates, moffandassociates.com. Rainbow Carpet, not just an average flooring store. 
They do complete remodels and they feature the hottest new products and design tips with 20 plus years experience. Rainbow, bringing your dreams home to you. Hi, I'm John from Rainbow Carpets and we're going to take you around and show a couple projects to you. Here in the foyer, we combine the look of bamboo with some beautiful porcelain tile. We use the polished porcelain tile that gives you the look of granite and marble without the heavy maintenance involved. Here's another great flooring product at Rainbow Carpet, luxury vinyl tile. Get the look of hardwood and ceramic without the cost and the maintenance. Stop in at Rainbow Carpet and check out our extensive line of luxury vinyl tile to meet all of your looks and your price point. Nothing puts the final touches on a kitchen like a custom ceramic backsplash from Rainbow Carpet. Stop into Rainbow Carpet and see our full line of ceramic tile for all of your kitchen and bathroom needs. Come see me, Johnny Rainbow, and I'll help you with your ideas for your home. Rainbow Carpet, 835 East 3rd Street. Palco Federal Credit Union has served the area for over 75 years. Tom, Rachel, congratulations. Thank you, Gary. We pride ourselves in our flexible, competitive loan products that we offer. We can uh, finance houses, cars, boats. We offer a Visa card that's 8.9% fixed rate. Uh, great products. And I know your members love the online banking. Absolutely. It's very easy to do. Just log on and you conduct all your business from your home. Check it today. Palco Federal Credit Union, members serving members for 75 years. For over 30 years, Fairfield Auto Group has had an unyielding commitment to hometown values. And we know how important those are to you. At Fairfield, cars cost less, but our service remains unrivaled. Fairfield for fair deals. Fairfield. You're going to love us. Alvarado Construction brings you the impact players of the game and in this one we have two players that are really quite similar. For Faith Christian Academy they have a young man named Zeke Snowden. He is 6'5", 225 and a senior and he's their guy to control things. When they need somebody in charge Zeke Snowden runs it for the Lions. Yes, yeah, Snowden's a big guy underneath. Not only is a, he, the body weight is really a lot. It's just going to make a difference. But he gets a lot of rebounds, gets a lot of putbacks, uh, and and can score from anywhere on the floor. So he, he's a he's going to be an excellent player for them. That St. John Newman's going to have to figure out how can they take him out of the game. Kevin Anderson, of course, is always the impact player for St. John Newman. No question, he's averaging almost 20 points a game. But as you pointed out earlier, he has been able to make an impact because he has helped Mike Kirby make the rest of the team better. Yeah, you really can't try to take him out of the ball game. He's going to do his thing regardless. you got to just play basketball and just keep him under control. He's a finesse player, and if you give him an opening, he's going to do what he has to do with the ball to score. Go into Delaware to play. You don't go Division I Delaware for any reason other than you got to be a good basketball player. He'll be with the Fight Blue Hens next year down in Newark before you know it. If each team has another player, Jaden Lynch, who we talked about a moment ago at our Price Optical Player of the Week for Newman, landed coil for Faith Christian Academy. Because sometimes the big guys equal each other out, sometimes they don't. But if they do, then somebody else has to step up. So keep an eye on them too. The Rennie Road Armel All-State Game of the Week. This is our Fairfield Auto Group pregame show from Mart's Hall, a rarity. Just a single game here at Mart's Hall. It really feels weird to have that going on. And we're going to bring it to you with the starting lineups coming up next. You've known them for more than 50 plus years in the Williamsport area. Alberano Construction, offering extensive design and build services throughout Pennsylvania. Commercial builds from Starbucks to Panera and so much more. John Alberano, now you're adding residential and some of the finest homes are going to be built by you guys. We've been uh, doing residential design and construction work for about the last four years. Uh, partnered with a firm called Scholes Design, who is a residential uh, architectural firm probably the premier firm in the country, uh, have an extensive catalog of their designs uh, as well as we have the ability to do our own custom designs uh, as well. And remodeling, a rebuild of a house to change the look. 
Yeah, both interior or exterior. We did the kitchen makeover uh, last year with your crew. Yeah, the Kiss FM uh, kitchen makeover. What a success. Boy, that was a happy family in South Williamsport. Great project. Gave them a new kitchen in uh, about three days. Uh, that was a great uh, the exterior renovation work we've been doing uh, has been everything from brick, stucco, stone, new facelifts for your home. So, for a new build, commercial or now residential, make it Alborano Construction for the finest in central Pennsylvania. You know, BJ's Steak and Rib House of Sealand's Grove has been a Central PA classic since 1982. And they offer Central PA's only authentic oyster bar, available open to close seven days a week, hot and cold selections, from the cold waters of New England to the Canadian Maritimes at BJ's. Plus, they offer Central PA's premium house-dry aid steaks, all hand-cut in BJ's own butcher shop. BJ's Steak and Ribs, a Central PA classic in Sealand's Grove. Rainy Road Herbal Allstate Insurance. Rich, let's talk about your team and let's meet some of the guys that make it happen every day here. Gary, the gentleman standing behind me here, one is Kane Snyder. He's a licensed sales rep for our agency along with Doug Seville and Mark Eckenstein. All do a great job and been with us for years. You guys, it's all about family. It's all about coverage. Let's talk about the great job you do and why you're so good at car insurance. Along with our competitive rates, we have a couple neat things with our policies like decreasing collision deductibles, accident waivers, um, bonuses. If, if you go with our, our Allstate uh, Platinum plan, you get a bonus if you go accident free for six months. Topped with our great uh, service and, and work ethics. Bottom line is, it's all about service, all about coverage. Policy reviews, you do it all at Rennie Road Armor. We like to do one every day with as many clients as we can to, to make sure they're covered properly, making sure they're getting the discounts they need and should have. Um, and again, just make sure that we, we're taking care of them the best we can. And we're back in the Fairfield Ford pregame show. General Manager Rick Wigley, we've had a lot of years together. 30-plus, first of all, congratulations. What a run you guys have had. Thanks, Gary. It's been a good 30 years and uh, looking forward to the next 30. And it ironically all started here is Fairfield Ford 1986 and so many great-looking Ford options. I'm loving driving the Explorer, but the new look of the Explorer right behind us is fantastic. Yeah, the new Ford's uh, Explorer's been a great seller. They really have done a great job with it, as you can see. Uh, actually, the whole Ford lineup is really hot this year. We've had a, a great run with Ford, uh, both locations here and at 3600 West 4th, and uh, really people are loving them. Absolutely. You've got the Fusion, you've got the Focus, uh, the Escape, you go on and on, and then you top it off with that great-looking Mustang, an iconic car from back in the 60s. Yeah, the Mustang's even newer for 17. They redid it a little bit, uh, some new paint schemes, new wheels, very sharp car. One of the great things you have at Fairfield, great service after the sale. I know when I get my car service, they do a phenomenal job, and if you need a loaner, they'll help you out every step of the way and clean it up for you. We've got a ton of loaners, and uh, you know, I've said it before, anybody can sell a car, but not everybody can service them the way we do. That's what we uh, hang our hat on. And, of course, the Auto Body Shop, two locations, 3600 West 4th, and down there at the Gold Strip, the former Toyota location. Guys do an amazing job. It looks brand spanking new, and they get those dents out. Yeah, we uh, we have a, our own paintless dent remover, too. Uh, we have four paint booths, uh, four sprayers, so uh, we can handle a lot of body work, and we get it, we get it done. Rick, congratulations on 30, and I know you're working in even more. We'll talk about it at halftime. Let's uh, keep Fairfield for fair deals moving. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. All right. We've got more coming up with the pregame. Don't go away. Kiss 1027, the 80s to now. Some call it the Mecca. It's Marts Hall at Pottsville Area High School. It's Pottsville School District's home of the PIAA playoffs where hundreds and hundreds of games are played all season long. And right now, we stand for the national anthem.
standing along this midcourt as they faced us here in the uh, press box. The flag is on the front of the press box. So everyone looking at Bay Mayer and I, Tom Losh, Chris Massey, and so forth. So we got a. We were looking out into a, into the arena. That's right. <laughs> we can't even see the flag. Let's get the starting lineups. Our AAA starting lineups: Faith Christian Academy, the Lions, will be the visitors in today's ball game. And Faith Christian will start with Zeke Snowden. He's our impact player of the game. He'll be joined by Darius Forney, Mickey Vitek, Charles Irvin, and Landon Coyle. Keep an eye on number one and number 21 for the Lions. And there you see them being introduced by the public address announcer. This ball club is out of the suburban Philadelphia area. They are from District 1. Their campus is in Sellersville, PA just south of Quakertown, just east of the Pennsylvania Turnpike's Northeast Extension. They are 26 and four on the season. Here's the St. John Newman Golden Knights, led by our impact player, Kevin Anderson. Jamie Lynch has just had an outstanding playoff. Noah Persson, Anthony Marazzo, and Jaden Chofi, who has really stepped up during the season and has come on strong for head coach Mike Kirby. Mike, who has had you know, quite a career as the Lady Lancer coach, now gets the opportunity in the last few years to lead the Knights deep into the playoffs as they come out. as a good look at Kevin Anderson. Of course, as Babe mentioned earlier, he'll be headed to Newark, Delaware, to play for the Blue Hens, the Fighting Blue Hens at the Carpenter Center is where he'll be headed. Here at Mart's Hall, a rare single game on a Saturday afternoon in the middle of the PIAA playoffs. Weather certainly has destroyed things. At this point, the winner of this one will play the winner of Girard College High School and York Country Day. And uh, last we heard, that game would start at an hour and a half before this one uh, is in overtime. We'll try to get you an update on that as we get going along here during the ball game. Faith Christian wearing the black with the white numerals. Newman wearing the white with the gold and maroon trim. We get set to jump it up. Vitek, who is a six four, all the starters are six foot or taller for this ball club from Faith Christian Academy, and they take it. Zeke Snowden will start things off. Darius Forney will set it up against the Newman man-to-man -man defense. They'll set a double block down low. That's Irvin looking at the top. Vitek to the foul line. Misses. And here come the Golden Knights with the rebound and the offense. Anderson lead them up. Looks like they're going to play a matchup type zone. He tries to drive in. Can't get it. Rebound up. No good. And Snowden will come down with it. Early to feel things out on this big court. Vitek from the corner. Up. No good. And the rebound again. Good. Good defense by uh, trying to see who that was. That, that was, uh, uh, yeah, it was Noah Persson. Here come the Knights. Turn the quick jumper up. No good off Persson. But they'll get it back, put it up, and it rolls off. No good. And Forney gets the miss. This is a big court, big open arena. Coyle up and good. Nice shot. Landon Coyle on the reverse. This is a big arena, a, a big open area, and teams tend to have struggle early trying to find the basket. They're not used to playing in such a big arena as this. Full court pressure after the made basket. Anderson says, I don't need any problem with that. Finds the man, oh, oh blocked away. But there's gonna be goaltending call, I believe. Oh, gonna, gonna get him on the foul. foul. Yeah, gonna get a foul. Be a foul. I couldn't see the referee's hand because of the basket hanging down yeah. up there, so it is going to be a foul. I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> Coyle gets the foul, his first. The Golden Knights, as all good teams are, good foul shooting teams, but don't get the first one. Noah will try it again, 6'3", junior. Averaging about nine points a game. Persson puts it up for the southpaw side, doesn't get it, and the rebound comes out to Charles Irvin. Yeah, you really got you, you got to hit fouls all all throughout this game, and if you don't uh, in the playoffs, you're in trouble because it usually comes down to foul shots at the end of the game. Bytech 
Pushing in, puts it up, Ben gets the friendly roll. Four nothing lead, Faith Christian Academy comes out. See how Newman responds, they've been a great team all season long. Haven't worried about, that's gonna be a foul at midcourt on Forney. Forney picks up his first, the second team foul. Now, when uh, you're watching these two teams play, the, the, one of the big things is to break the ice. Someone make a basket and get yourself going. And that's what Newman needs right now. Kevin Anderson says, I'll take it. Jake Lynch had sent him the ball inbounds. Goes to the right side. Marazzo looking for help. Lynch tries to save it at midcourt and does. Looks like a 2-3 zone they're getting into and then they're trapping out of the zone. Coming back out, Forney after the turnover. Forney into the paint. Finds the man in the corner, doesn't take it. Kicks it back, Forney for two. Hits it, 6-0 wow, nice lead. 6-0 lead in the ball game now. Faith Christian Academy starting strong. Anderson and looks down low, the pass goes awry, out of bounds. Mike Kirby being encouraging on the side, saying, come on guys, just settle down. Mike Kirby doesn't want to take a timeout, but he may have to and settle his team down. Heads up, guys, heads up. It's still early. Long Lots way to going go. to happen in this long way to go in this ball game. 5.20 to play first quarter, 6 nothing. Misses the three-pointer, but they get the rebound back to uh, Coyle. Pulls it back out to Forney. Down low, Snow puts it up. It's good, it's an eight nothing lead now. First three minutes have belonged to the Lions. Anderson, double team, triple team, puts it up, no good. The rebound follow up by Lynch, no good. And here come the Lions. Snow streaking to the basket, puts it up. It's a 10 point lead, timeout. Timeout's gonna be called by St. John Newman. And it will be a 30-second timeout. 30-second timeout, 4.50 to play, 10-0, Faith Christian. You've known the name for more than 50 years, Alborado Construction, offering extensive design and build services all over Pennsylvania. John Alborado, now you're doing even more residential. We've partnered with Scholl's Design, a residential architectural firm, uh, offering designs out of their catalog. We also have the ability to do a custom design in-house for a client. And a remodel like the KISS FM home makeover, a huge success. That was a great project. Gave them a new uh, kitchen in about three days. Alborado Construction for residential and commercial builds. You know, our friends at the Clothier on West 4th Street in Williamsport are having their mid-winter clearance, 50% off select top coats and sweaters. Also, the spring Bobby Jones golf wear is in at the Clothier on West 4th Street in Williamsport. Well, it's the start that St. John Newman did not want early in this ball game. Mike Kirby trying to just settle him down. But it's early in the ball game, and that's exactly what Mike Kirby called that timeout for. He said, guys, don't get upset. Don't get frustrated. We'll get things going. Just be patient. Lynch in the paint. Gets it back. Goes to the corner. Snowden's playing him right now. But they really dump off. They're going to double Anderson. The ball knocked away as Anderson tries to pass. They double him again. Lynch back to Anderson. Now we're going to see if they don't try to, if Newman doesn't try to spread out a little bit to give Anderson some room. He'll pop it short. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a Faith Christian Academy basketball. The way they're doubling Kevin, yeah. the way they're doubling Kevin Anderson, you, you're going to have to, make, in a sense, clear out a little bit and let him have some room. They, they're in that zone, but then all of a sudden they'll just attack. Uh, and, uh, and uh, a trap, and, and Kevin has the ball. It seems to be an automatic. Snowden, Vitek, Coyle doesn't get the roll. Tap goes up. No good. Anderson leading the break. Three guys try to sandwich him and keep him in the middle of the court. Now he gets to the side. Baseline drive across, knocked away, picked back up, put up, and good. Newman's on the scoreboard. Jaden Trophy with that basket and a, that much needed basket. It opens the scoring for Newman. Trophy's a sophomore off the bench. Initially in the season, has become a starter inside to Forney and he was all alone. Yeah. 10 point lead. And we'll take a timeout. 
3.20 to play in the first quarter of this ball game. It's Faith Christian Academy 12, St. John Newman 2. For the finest detail and handcrafted jewelry, there is one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Golden Strip in Williamsport. Let them make you an original. And remember, they are your diamond headquarters. Absolutely the best prices, bar none, on diamonds anywhere in Central PA. And of course, the finest gemstones in the world today, from sapphires to tanzanite. Now is the time to let them make you an original. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, your diamond headquarters, Golden Strip. Let's talk about Dr. Dave Raymore. Dr. Dave Raymore has been meeting the dental needs of the Williamsport area families for over 30 years. Your dental health is vitally important. Get the help you need from Dr. Dave Raymore on Washington Boulevard in Williamsport for general and cosmetic dentistry. Give Dave Raymore's office a call today. Let's talk about the Clothier, West 4th Street in Williamsport. They're having their midwinter clearance, 50% off select top coats and sweaters. Also, the spring Bobby Jones golf wear is in at the Clothier. We promise spring is coming. You know, uh, 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 Francis knows what he's talking about. It is midwinter right now. It's <laughs> midwinter. Uh, we, we like to think of this as, as spring, <laughs> still midwinter. When they get the ball to Kevin Anderson, he has the Delaware recruit has not really had a whole lot of problems breaking the press. It's just getting in. Oh, nice drive. Comes up short. Gets it. Has it knocked away. Goes out of bounds. It'll be a Newman ball. Newman ball on the sideline. They're really scrapping for this. Kevin Reed Parrish in the ball game now for Newman. Kevin is working hard for everything. He, he, he's. Uh, uh, they, they know they know this team and they know who the leader is and they know who they have to take out of the game. Oh, all nice. along, great pass oh, nice up and good. And the Golden Knights start to put things together as Noah Persson puts it in. And then a turnover off Darius Forty. We go back the other way. I'll I, I tell you what, that last play, Kevin Anderson looked off the entire defense and they all bit. And there was... Uh, Persung underneath the basket, wide open. Andrew Fish was also in the ball game along with Reed Parrish now for the Golden Knights. Andrew many times has been a three-point shooter for this team. Oh, <laughs> what an exhibition of dribbling. He's got three guys on him. Lynch down the lane. He draws a triple. Dean puts it up. No good. Almost kept alive, but here's Forney. Forney with a three-on-two break. Pass behind his man, but he gets it, puts it up, and a foul. Oh, my. They put it up as Irvin puts the ball through. Let's see. Reed Parrish is into the ball game for Newman, along with uh, Andrew Fish, as you mentioned. And he is the three-point shooter. Up, oh, no good by Irvin. Foul was on Reed Parrish, the 6'1 sophomore. Newman, a young team in many ways. Starting just one senior. And they make one. So they get 13 to four. Now the lead just under two and a half the first quarter. Anderson all the way down. Can't get him. Follow up. No good whistle inside. Going to be a foul inside. Yeah, that, that, and that's going to go against Snowden. Is that his second, Ken, or is that his first? I think that's his first. Yeah, it is his first. His first, the team's third. Kevin Anderson put that form up and good. That gets him into the scorebook. Kevin Anderson, in addition to getting into the scorebook, we talked to how hard he's been working up to seven rebounds now in this ball game. That's it good. That's what you need to do. 13 to six. So what was a 10 point lead now? Down to seven. And that's all you can do. You got a long way to go in the game. Take your time, be calm. Get the feel of the floor. That's 40. Coyle looking inside for Snowden. Nice job of fronting Snowden in there by Parrish. Snowden below gets the rebound. Can't put it in. Ball loose. Forney down the line up and in. Forney. Nice job banging the boards by the Lions. Anderson heads to the hole. Up and good. And that brings the Newman crowd excited. Long pass up ahead, Snowden banks, no good. Rebound, comes back, rebound number eight at least. Boy, I tell you, he's, 
He's playing both ends of the floor tonight. That's Kevin, a good look at him right there as he sets the play up. Kevin Anderson goes around to pick, slop slides through, finds a man in the corner, little jumper, up and good! St. John Newman responding as they are down to just a five-point deficit now. Three, Forney hits it. Three for Forney, 18 to 10. Ball almost knocked away. Boy, Forney, that, Forney hit a big basket there. Newman had it down to five points. That bounces it back up to eight. Forney's a six foot, 165 junior. And the Golden Knights are, are using a lot more players. And that can play in big when it comes into the latter parts of this stage. Now we see that Sawyer Smith is in the ball game now for the Lions, and he blocks the way as they try to get in. Loose ball picked up nicely underneath. Up and good. Great play by wow. Persson. Noah Persson has played a good game underneath that basket. He's not that big. Got a lot of size around him, but boy, he gets up there and gets that ball in. 6'3", Junior. He's playing well. Now they're spreading out the man-to-man -man a little bit now. They don't have anybody inside the three-point arc. Is Faith under 20 seconds, playing for the last shot of the quarter. They have a six-point lead. They are the Ready Road Armbow All-State Game of the Week on Cable Sports Productions. Ball stolen away, seven seconds. Anderson looks ahead. Lynch goes to the hole. No, it won't go in. And that'll be the quarter. End of one, Faith Christian 18, St. John Newman 12. Service. I know you've told me that for a long time. Eight out of ten policy reviews your people do save people money. You got to be proud of that. Yeah, we're really proud of that. And, and I think the biggest problem we have is getting people in here. They have a negative attitude and think that we're trying to sell them something. Keep in mind the review is set up for one purpose. Make sure you have all the appropriate discounts. Make sure you're getting the best protection at the best possible price. When it comes to cars, there are so many options. But when it comes to people, there's only one dealership you can trust. Fairfield Auto Group is that dealership. The one that understands you. We aren't just a dealership. We are a part of your community. We are your neighbors. Fairfield, you're gonna love us. Welcome back to Mart's Hall. If you're looking for classy, casual dining, you'll find it at the 505 Restaurant and Bar at 505 Washington Boulevard. Chef Owen Rutan has great steaks like the flat iron, plus chicken and seafood meals too. Throw in a homemade dessert, you'll love dining at the 505 on Washington Boulevard in Williamsport. Six point deficit for the Golden Knights. Anderson short, ball retrieved. Over in the right hand corner for the Golden Knights is Andrew Fish. And Anderson really tried to exchange the ball. Ball loose, picked up nicely, and Newman attacking the boards hard. Up, off the rim, no good. They're just having a terrible night shooting. They're getting good shots now, yeah, Dave, but they're, they're getting looks. Falling. Yeah, they're getting the looks. They're just not getting the ball. Hopefully that'll come. Right now, the big thing's defense. They've got to they've got to stay sharp on defense and stay with their man. Anthony Sessa in the ball game, running things now for the Lions. They're befuddled a little bit about the offense right now. They've made a couple of personnel changes. Here's Irvin trying to go around a pick. Nice job of staying with him. Ooh, a little bit of a shove over in the corner. Sessa puts it up for three. That's huge. Yeah, the th those threes are uh, right now are killers. 21-12. Newman having trouble hitting from uh, from the three-point circle, and uh, that, that's that's largely the big difference in the ball game here. Oh, ball gets thrown away. They set a pickup for the for the uh, Golden Knights, and then uh, Jaden Chofi got banged around pretty hard, and the ball went sailing out of bounds. They're just a hair off. 
They had some good things happen when they cut it down to five at 15 to 10. Now they need some good more things happen. They're trying to clog the inside up as the uh, Golden Knights are to keep the Lions out of the inside. And the Lions with a nine point lead, early though we're early in the second quarter, taking their time. And the corner, Irvin. Snowden comes around. Snowden dives in, little jumper, short, no good, and the rebound comes down to Chofi. Lynch inside, steps through, puts it up, no, it won't go. Rebound inside, back up, good! Good hustle under the basket by Lynch. Got that basket, he, and uh, you know, this team from Faith Christian does a good job of not fouling. They let you take the shot or, uh, rather than take the foul. Snowden. Now out to Sessa. It's a good picture of him. He's trying to call the play, but they weren't listening to him. The old tap on top of the head play. Snowden trying to go off the pick. Good job of stopping him. Back out to Sessa. Can't hit it. Long rebound. Picked up by the Lions. They'll keep possession. Double team looking for help. Gets the ball out to Sessa. Newman wanted a five-second call. Didn't get it. 21-14 to score. Just under five to play in the first half. Anderson knocked it away. Goes out of bounds. It will be a Lions basketball. He knocked it away from Sawyer Smith. I tell you, Anderson, Anderson's uh, playing, a, uh, doing a great job in this game. I, I don't know if he has the endurance to keep this up the entire game, but he's playing the entire floor, doing a lot of things. Got a long, the full timeout. Full timeout. Yeah, St. John Newman will take a full timeout. 4.49 left in the half, 21-14. Faith Christian leading St. John Newman. Jim Moff, Moff & Associates, you've been at it for 30 plus years. The biggest kick you must get is helping so many people out achieve the proper retirement with the money they really need, right? Correct. Now, there's some folks uh, that really don't have a lot of assets, but we're able to help them to achieve uh, financial success for retirement. Uh, a little bit of discipline and some savings each month will get them there. Jim Moff, Moff & Associates, MoffAndAssociates.com. You know, when you talk pizza in Williamsport, you first talk about Park Pizza, a built town tradition since 1960. For the best in pizza, stromboli, and wings, you've got to believe it's Park Pizza. And now you've got to check out the brand new Bohemoth, the giant 28-inch hand-tossed pizza, the largest hand-tossed pizza in the area. Park Pizza, take out, delivery, or dine in Memorial Avenue, Williamsport. Call Scott today, 322-9024, Park Pizza. 4.49 left in the half, 21-14, PA Sports Live. Go to that website, you'll see a lot of great action, a lot of great games, a lot of great athletes that you'll see thanks to the folks at PA Sports Live, our streaming partner here on Cable Sports Productions. Well, I see what changed out of the timeout, baby. Right, you know, it's, it was, I, it was, I think it was as much of a rest timeout as it was a, 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 a talking timeout. Driving into the lane, Irvin puts it up and good. Spread nice the floor out, got a good big, big move there. 23-14 now. Foul line jumper, in and out, no good. Rebound inside, they kick it back out. Fake, fake, put it up, it won't go, but there's gonna be a whistle. Good hard work by Persun. Persun's really working hard. Oh, yeah, he's, he's playing an excellent game here tonight. I tell you, the whole Newman team is, I mean, they're hustling. They can't get baskets to fall. That's the big problem. And uh, if they uh, if they can get a couple to drop in, here's a chance to pick up two right here. Ah, Missed the first. No, no struggling at the line. Yeah, it's one of those things when you play that hard, that's why most coaches will run their free throw drills at the end of practice. Yeah. They want you to be tired when you, when you do that. Well, right, right, right now you're seeing a lot of players being run in and out of the ball game. Good. By, there's, there he finally got one to drop by Faith Christian, and, uh, and that, that's going to play big in the second quarter. That's going to save legs. 23-15.
Down low, blocked away nicely. Anderson and company. Boy, what are they great? They're doing a much better job of denying the baseline right now. Spin, feed, trophy up. No, it won't go. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Faith Christian. We have a timeout on the floor. Timeout on the floor with 23-15. Faith Christian leading St. John Newman at 353 left in the first half. The new go-to place for great food in East End is 505. That's right, 505. 505 Washington Boulevard, seven days a week. They have great steaks and pasta, great sandwiches and salads, homemade soups, amazing homemade cheesecake, and they also do catering. 505 at 505 Washington Boulevard, right next door. Don't forget about Boulevard Brews with a huge selection. 505. Back at March Hall, Ken Sawyer sitting in for Gary Crispin and Babe Mayer and Tom Walsh. Alberano Construction, John and his team have 50 plus years experience in commercial buildings all across PA. Now they're also producing the finest in residential designs. Contact John at Alberano Construction. The winner of this one will take on Girard College High School. Girard College winning over York Country Day, 75-72. So we know who the winner will play, who will play them. We'll see Newman get the ball back after the turnover. Well, both these teams have beat York County Day. And uh, so that, oh. that, that should mean that this is going to be a, wow. Looks like a pinball. How Kevin kept up with that. Pinball machine almost going through there. Or well, that's way before a lot of you folks. It's like a video game beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 23-15. Newman down, trying to get it. Oh, it won't stay in. The three-pointer comes, rims out. Maybe we'll find it. The rims at the other end of the uh, floor are better. Let's yeah, hope. Forney. Then puts it up. Short. No good. Ball knocked around it. Here come the Knights. The Sun, again, getting that ball and getting it to Anderson's hand. He skipped pass. Left side. There's the shot. Again, up. no good. Good look, it just won't go. The ball goes well, out of bounds. Let me Newman ball. Newman gets it back. Boy, Newman's getting off some shots, but they're not getting anything to fall. Their shooting percentage has got to be low here tonight. Today, actually, it's today. Actually, it is. <laughs> Baseline inbounds. Up, no. Right, right in that elbow of the rim and the backboard well you know faith christian give them credit they're forcing a quick shot they're they're, they're making that player get rid of that ball before he, he really feels comfortable and that's why they're missing coil no good ball knocked around and anderson gets another rebound he's got a double there let's see if he can get somewhere else fish again nope short rebound comes out the other way forney and he's going to be fouled as he goes in and that's going to go against Kevin Anderson. His first 227 left to play in the first half. As you can see, a 23-15 lead. Lots of scoreboard clocks here. You'll see one at the top of your picture when they move the ball around a little bit as well. There you see the big one at midcourt. For all of us hitting up above this outstanding place to play basketball. Sessa takes his time setting the offense up. When Forney was running the offense early in the first quarter, they were attacking a lot more. Here's a three-pointer up. No good. Rebound Anderson. Wow, Anderson has a ton of rebounds. He's playing well on both ends of the court. Ten. He's got ten rebounds. Foul inside as Newman attacks the basket, and they're going to draw the foul. And that's one of the ways out of a shooting slump is to get more aggressive You'll see the official hold up the numbers to the bench, and you'll see the subs hitting to the bench there across the way. Snowden and Irvin are going to come back in the ball game. That's I mean, a fifth team foul. 
So we got two more fouls to go here in just two minutes before anybody goes into the bonus. There's Mike Kirby or, talking to his club, working up and down the sideline. He's a veteran coach. He's got a lot of interest in this ball club, a lot tied in. They've improved a great deal. That's Chofi, not Lynch. I I'm sorry. Mistake the first time. Two minutes to go in the first half. 23-17, Newman back within six. And you, that, you can come back on, on, the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the foul shooting. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. They, they're not hitting from the floor. God, that point you made about getting, getting fouled and uh, going to the foul line is a big point. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that's one of your options. When you're not able to hit from the outside, what do you do? You go inside. You're seeing that a lot. Is this right there? You saw Vitek go inside and get it. You see that a lot in the NCAA play in the tournament. March Madness going on right now. Lynch to Chofi. Anderson. Look at that Ryan crowd around to Anderson. Fish double teamed on the baseline by to Anderson. Snowden is 6'5", and he was staying with him for a while. Now Irvin is with him. Irvin is 6'2". Of course, Kevin is 6'5". Going to be a steps call. Turnover. The ball went down the hallway. We'll have to wait for the ball to come back. <laughs> that reminds me that I had the great honor in 1972 with then Bishop Newman to broadcast their games on the radio when they won the 1972 PCI AA Class C Championship. And some recognizable names on there, Ken. Paul Peckovaj, Mike Bloom, Keith Burkhart, Mike Brownlee, Chris Pellegrino, Mike Fisher, Lester Lohner, Dave Hain, Gary Walderoth among them who were on that great team that took us on quite an interesting ride. Of course, at that time, the parochial and private schools were not a part of the PIAA. Ball knocked out of bounds. Timeout. A lot of people thinks that a lot of people think that should be the case right now. 30-second timeouts being called by Faith Christian Academy. 102 left to play here in the first half. You know, when you talk pizza in Williamsport, you first talk about Park Pizza, a built town tradition since 1960. For the best in pizza, stromboli, and wings, you've got to believe it's Park Pizza. And now you've got to check out the brand new Bohemoth, the giant 28-inch hand-tossed pizza, the largest hand-tossed pizza in the area. Park Pizza, take out, delivery, or dine in. Memorial Avenue, Williamsport. Call Scott today, 322-9024, Park Pizza. Welcome back to March Hall. You see the level of floor level and hear from our friend, Dr. Dave Raymore. He's been meeting the uh, dental needs of the Williamsport area families for over 30 years. You can take your whole family to Dr. Dave Raymore because your dental health is vitally important. Get the help you need from Dr. Dave Raymore, Washington Boulevard, Williamsport. 25-17 with a minute two to go in the first half. Spread the floor again. Let's see if they wait for the last shot. They, they ran off about 48 seconds at the end of the first quarter at Faith Christian Academy. They have the lead, the ball, headed toward halftime. They certainly have changed the pace off and on. That's Forney. Kevin ball Anderson. knocked away. Here we go. Line it up. Just put the layup up and in. That's I was it. waiting for the big shot. Uh, then I'll tell you what, if Kevin Anderson made the right decision. You don't want to miss a layup on that uh, turnover. Six points for Kevin Anderson. That's a big one. Forney down the middle. He puts it up. No. Newman gets it with 16 seconds left. Ball knocked away out of bounds. They'll say it's off Newman. And the ball will go to Faith Christian Academy. Oh, boy. Fisher was right there. Officials are from District 3. They're from the York chapter. Twelve seconds and counting. Forney sees a path, but he kicks it back out. Snowden just inside the line. Can't hit it. Forney puts it back up. No good. Rebound to Newman. That's the half. We're at halftime in this PIAA. Single A playoff game, the quarterfinals from March Hall. It is 25 for Faith Christian Academy, 19 for St. John Newman. Our hardest play to win halftime shows coming up. 
Randy Roder, Rumble Allstate Insurance. It's all about family, all about service. Jessica Steinbacher, you're here a lot of years as the office manager. Who are the other ladies that are right here with you? Well, off to my left is Sheila Hunter. She's been with us about 10 years now. She's a customer service representative. And this is Becca Berry. She's our front desk go-to person. And they're both integral parts of our everyday flow here at the office. You know, you have a lot of benefits here at Rennie Rotor of Allstate. One is the drive-in claim center. Explain that to me. Yes, we have an adjuster here twice a week that will actually inspect the damage to your vehicle locally, conveniently for you. And what about claim satisfaction guarantee? If you are in any way dissatisfied with the way Allstate handled your claim, we will reimburse you your six-month premium on that vehicle the claim occurred. Those are some of the great benefits. Randy Road Armel, Allstate Insurance. Ray-Ban, Nike, Polo Ralph Lauren, Maui Jim, Costa, Gucci, Wiley X. Price Optical has the widest selection of sunglass eyewear in the area. Attention gas workers and outdoorsmen and women. Wiley X sunglasses are ANSI safety rated and military ballistic certified. At Price Optical, we set our sights on your vision. Our focus is on providing you complete quality eyewear. Price Optical, for the finest in eyewear. Rainbow Carpet, your flooring headquarters for over 20 years in Central PA, has you covered for all the new flooring designs. The Macera family will help you every step of the way with those new creative ideas. From carpeting, ceramic tile, laminate, vinyl, hardwoods, including exotic hardwoods like bamboo and Brazilian cherry. And their carpet and cleaning service and water and fire restoration is second to none. For all your flooring needs, see Tony, Mary, Anthony, and John, the Macera family at Rainbow Carpet. Welcome to the Harder's Halftime Show. I'm Dennis, this is Scott from Harder Sporting Goods. At the beginning of the year, every team needs to raise funds. At Harder's, they put the fund back in fundraising. You go to pabooster.com where you select some products and a design. We help you sell it, we bag it, we sort it, we drop it off with a check to your organization. And you know, Dennis, what they can do with that check is, you can come here to Harder Sporting Goods. We've been your baseball headquarters for years and years, and now, We'd like you to know that we're your headquarters for football and soccer and wrestling. Any fall sport, winter sport, spring sport, we can take care of your needs. We're here at Harder Sporting Goods, and we're your hometown sporting goods store. Come see us at Harder Sporting Goods, 2098 Lake Cumming Creek Road, where we play to win. This former Newman Regional Academy basketball player has reached the top levels of high school, junior college, and NCAA Division I basketball. A Pennsylvania All-State Center, Junior College Honorable Mention All-American, and an outstanding Division I Missouri Valley Conference player. In his junior season, he started all 33 Missouri Valley State games, averaging a team-leading 15 points per game and 10 rebounds per game, ranking him first in the conference in rebounds and 11th nationally in rebounds, and he was also first in the conference in scoring. He recorded 16 double-doubles, which ranks him 11th in the NCAA Division I. In three games against Missouri Valley Conference champion Wichita State, he averaged 15 points per game, leading his team to the conference tournament semifinals. Who is this week's Rennie Road Armo All-State Insurance? Who is he and where is he now? Well, stay tuned. We'll, re we'll be right back with the answer uh, later in the halftime. And we're back here on the Fairfield Auto Group Halftime Show with Rick Quigley, longtime GM at Fairfield, 30-plus years in this business. And I'll tell you, Rick, you guys continue to expand. We're down at the uh, end of the county. You guys pretty much own it with the locations right here at the Halls Pensdale exit off I-180. Oh, well, that's right, Gary. We've got our Hyundai store across the street. We have Toyota right here, and behind me is Honda. And at the end of the cul-de-sac is going to be our brand-new BMW store, which uh, we've already broken ground, and they're uh, clearing that off right now as we speak. Yeah, and that's 
bigger and better than ever, meaning you're selling a lot, meaning they want to put more cars here. That's huge. A luxury model that people love. Yeah, BMW has done very well, uh, and their forecast for BMW is to do exceptionally well over the next few years. They've got a lot of new brands coming out, new models, and it's the only luxury brand in this market. Great thing about it, too, you've got locations over this entire region of Central PA, and one of the newest is down in Lewisburg, state-of-the-art facility for Chevy and Caddy. Yeah, uh, finished that the Chevy Cadillac store last year, uh, have a huge parking lot across the street, hold up to 500 cars, and uh, doing very well with a great display there. And yeah, the Kaiser boys, they've got a location in Danville in the Muncie area, Route 405. Uh, you know, you've got the Dodge and you've got Jeep and everything there. And of course, Fairfield Ford implements Ford at the Auto Mall with BMW moving here and Volkswagen down there too. And that's a great location. It is a great location and having Ford up the other end of the county certainly helps. We have both ends covered for our customers. Rick, you're all over it. Let's get 30 more years coming for Fairfield. That's what we're here for. Thanks. Congratulations and make it fair field for fair deals. Dolly's Diner behind Rita's Italian Ice just off the Golden Strip is Loyal Socks Answer to Cheers, where everyone knows your name. For the best in home style breakfast and lunch, seven days a week, 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. Dolly's Diner, homemade breakfast, homemade lunches here in Loyal Sock Township, and where any food worth eating, worth eating a lot of. Dolly's Diner, behind Rita's, just off the Golden Strip. You've known them for more than 50 plus years in the Williamsport area. Alberano Construction, offering extensive design and build services throughout Pennsylvania. Commercial builds from Starbucks to Panera and so much more. John Alberano, now you're adding residential and some of the finest homes are going to be built by you guys. We've been uh, doing residential design and construction work for about the last four years. Uh, partnered with a firm called Scholes Design, who is a residential uh, architectural firm, probably the premier firm in the country. Uh, have an extensive catalog of their designs, uh, as well as we have the ability to do our own custom designs uh, as well. And remodeling, a rebuild of a house to change the look. Yeah, both interior and exterior. We did the kitchen makeover uh, last year with your crew. Yeah, the KISS FM uh, kitchen makeover. What a success. Boy, that was a happy family in South Williams. Great project. Gave them a new kitchen in uh, about three days. Uh, that was a great. Uh, the exterior renovation work we've been doing uh, has been everything from brick, stucco, stone, new facelifts for your home. So, for a new build, commercial or now residential, make it Alberano Construction for the finest in central Pennsylvania. Welcome back to the Harder's Play to Win Halftime Show. Ken Sawyer and Babe Mayer here at Mart's Hall. St. John Newman down 25-19 to Faith Christian Academy at halftime. The numbers, when well, I give them to you, Babe, are going to look pretty close. But boy, if Newman could just get a couple of shots to fall, the game changes dramatically. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, the, you have a six-point game right now. They stole the ball and didn't convert. It would be a four-point game right now, and and uh, you know, and they, they are just are not hitting it off from the perimeter, and that, that's that's hurting at this time. Seeking or stealing the ball. Let's take a look at our River Valley Transit big play of the first half, and you're going to see the main man make a steal and convert, and that's what we're looking for here from Kevin Anderson. It's Kevin Anderson right there with a good got in the passing lane. Goes down, lays it in. It's two points for the Dunkin' or laying in. He, he made the right cho choice there. That's our River Valley big play of the first half here at Mart's Hall. I said numbers, turnovers, 5-4. Newman, 5 and 4 for Faith. Rebounds, 20 to 16 in favor of Newman. Bench points, though, Faith has three to none for Newman at the foul line. Newman, 5 for 8. That's good. Faith only one for two. First half points. Kevin Anderson with six points, ten rebounds. Jaden Lynch with four points. Person with five points. Chofi with four for Newman. Snowden with four. Irvin with three. Coyle with two. Vitek four. Sessa with three. And Forney with nine. All in the first half for Faith Christian. Babe, who was that? Who is he? Where is he now, guy? We were well, looking at. Uh, well, uh, who is a former Newman Regional Academy basketball player who has soared to the top levels of high school, junior college, and NCAA Division I basketball? Well, I think everybody guessed Alizé Johnson. And if you did, you're correct. But even more importantly is what he did. In his junior season, he started all 33 Missouri Valley State games, averaging a team leading 15 points per game and 10 rebounds per game. 
ranked first in the conference and 11th nas nationally. Alizé recorded 16 double-doubles, ranking him 11th in NCAA Division I. Alizé completed his junior season being named first team all-conference and conference newcomer of the year. Alizé Johnson, the Ready Road Armo All-State Insurance. Who is he and where is he now? And that's our hardest play to win halftime show from Barts Hall. The Ready Road Armo Game of the Week continues. Faith Christian 25, St. John Newman 19. Second half is next. Hi, this is Scott from Harder Sporting Goods. You've known us as your baseball headquarters for years. But now we'd like you to know we have a full line of football equipment like Under Armour cleats, receiver's gloves, shoulder pads, pants, anything that you need for your individual or team needs. And also we can do your rewards for your end of the year banquets. Come see us at Harder Sporting Goods, 2098 Lake Cumming Creek Road, where we play to win. Son, it's time to learn how to change a tire. Let's see. Yeah, I know what's in here. Oh, here we go. Do you want you want the no? Maybe that's what this is for. Oh, prison, prison. Come on, come on. Are you getting any of this? Dad, I sent our GPS location to AAA 20 minutes ago. Really? You gave me a AAA card, remember? You trust AAA with your car, and now let AAA Travel handle your vacation plan. Don't go to strangers. Go to AAA Travel. Jim Moff, Moff & Associates, you've been at it for 30 plus years. The biggest kick you must get is helping so many people out achieve the proper retirement with the money they really need, right? Correct. Now, there's some folks uh, that really don't have a lot of assets, but we're able to help them to achieve uh, financial success for retirement. Uh, a little bit of discipline and some savings each month will get them there. Jim Moff, Moff & Associates, MoffAndAssociates.com. Kiss 1027, the 80s to now. 25-19 as we count down toward the start of the second half here at Marts Hall in Pottsville. Ken Sawyer along with Babe Mayer. You know, one of the uh, great things about PNAA basketball is that we've seen a lot of great teams from our area who've had great years, and we're going to see how who can keep this one going. St. John Newman going to try to rally here in the second half, and they certainly have the capabilities of doing so. As we said, you know, all they really have to do is get some of those shots to fall, and everything will be good. And you see the Newman huddle right there. I bet sometimes it just takes that, oh, okay, we got the first half. We now understand what's going on, and Mike Kirby and his staff will continue, try to continue the undefeated season. The winner of this one on Monday will play Girard College High School, a 75-72 overtime winner over York Country Day. The other schools left in this Class A bracket, Manesson and Salzburg and Elk County Christian and Kennedy Catholic. Those are the other teams. Of course, the state championship game in this division is Thursday at 2 at the Giant Center in Hershey. All right, we're set to start the second half. Coyle will throw things inbounds. We're all set to go, I think. Some folks, all right, here we go. Play ball, they say. Newman down six. They were down six into the first quarter. So it was actually an even 7-7 seven, seven second quarter. Let's see what adjustments Tony DaCosta has made for his Lions. Because they are 26 and four. Trying to win number 27. Newman in that sliding zone defense now. Puts it up, no good. Newman had opened it a man-to-man, -man, now looking at zone. We had an even second quarter. It was a six-point lead at the end of the uh, first quarter. And now six points at halftime. Lynch exchanging the ball. Now they'll penetrate and throw it up. Good! It goes in. That's what you need wow, to right. open a rally. <laughs> man, oh man, that, that was 
you needed a basket here to come out and not get in that shooting slump like you're in the first half. Boy, and that's one of those, okay, I, where, what am I gonna do with it now? And Fish was able to put it up and get yeah. it done. Andrew Fish able to get that job done there. Not his normal shot. He's usually shooting from the three-point line, but uh, got it to fall, and that was huge. Well, we talked again. Oh, nice try to front the ball, and they get the job done. And Newman comes out with it. Really good job fronting the ball by Noah Persson. Inside, oh, the pass was too hard. Tried to hit Chofi underneath, but couldn't hit him. I'll tell you, Kevin Anderson has very quick hands, and uh, it, it's tough to defense him, particularly if you're going for the ball. He, he really uh, uh, it can move the ball and, and has very quick hand movements. Early second half, four-point lead by the Lions, the Knights, trying to rally. What I'm surprised at a little bit is how much the Lions have slowed this ball game down. I'm really surprised yeah. that, that Coach Tony DaCosta has slowed it down quite the way he has. There's something he sees. I mean, he, I mean, let's face it, he's been very successful. So he, there's something he sees and knows about this team. Newman fans wanting about a five-second call. Here's Coyle. Short, no good. Anderson gets the rebound. Kevin looks, lofts it ahead. It's up. Good! And the Knights are within two. 40. Should be a charge or not? It yes. Yes, it is. That's a charge. Noah Persson's playing a great game tonight. He oftentimes matches up in the big man, uh, the, the tallest player on their team, and, and keeps him boxed out. And that time just did a, did a great job of uh, defensing that. Foul was on Forney. That's his second. First team foul of the half. Newman's outscored them in the first two and a half minutes, four nothing. They can tie or take the lead here. St. John Newman rallying. Continuing to play hard, but now getting the ball to go in. Got it down to a two-point game. That's the closest we've seen it. Anderson tries to step through. Fade away. Good. We're tied at 25. Eight points for Kevin Anderson. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. The Knights were down 10-0 early in this ball game. And now they're tied. Urban has it blocked. Two guys actually blocked it. Well, Anderson got the big block. Back Steal to back the other way. Coyle goes to the hole. That's going to be a foul caught on Anderson. His second. Anderson's second personal foul. As he ripped that ball out, first team foul this half. That was a tough call on Anderson. Yes, it wasn't a bad call, but it was a tough call. He almost got the steal. You can hear the, <laughs> the much larger Newman crowd as compared to the Faith Christian crowd responding to that in agreement with you. Here's Snowden, baseline jumper, hits it for two. That's a big shot for Snowden. He's got six points, 27-25. You want a state playoff game? We got you one. Great basketball. The Golden Knights. Big thing right now is can Newman keep this up? Oh, Urban, I thought threw an elbow there going through that block, but he missed, they missed the shot and get it back. I have, that, I'm a long way away from the court, so maybe I missed it. But I thought he was helping to clean out that uh, pick pretty good there. Fall away. Up, uh, good. Beat up. And all of a sudden, four straight points. He has six now in the ball game. Faith Christian has run a lot of players in and out of this ball game. Newman doesn't have that luxury of depth, and uh, uh, you, you got to worry about Newman being able to keep up with the pace of this game right now. Doing, doing okay right now. Let's hope they can keep going. 29 25, 340 to play in the third quarter. Anderson for the tray. Yes, he got it. He's got 11 points in the ball game. It's a one point deficit. The undefeated Golden Knights trying to stay that way and say, let's go play on Monday. They got a ways to go. Snowden drives, puts it up and in. Now he's starting to, to make himself out. He's got 
eight points in the ball game now. Well, you know, they, they've got, he, well, once he gets in there around that basket, he's, he's a mismatch. He's way too big for anyone to really cover. On the right side, they dump it down in. Chofi across to person. Ball comes loose. Nice inside pass, just couldn't finish. Snowden trying to take over the game. Here's Forney. Oh, that's a big three. Yes. That's a big three. He's got 12 points in the ball game. He scored in the first quarter, didn't score in the second. Now he's scoring again here in the third. It's back to a six-point lead. Down inside, Persson up and good. So Noah makes it 34-30. He's got seven points in the ball game. Two and a half to play in the third quarter. A very fast-moving third quarter. Snowden, oh man, big opening. He charges, puts it up and in, and it's going to wave off the basket. Oh, this, the people from Faith Christian are not going to be happy. Snowden will get the offensive player in charge, player control foul, wave off the basket. And there will be a timeout. Timeout on the floor with 2.18 to play in the third. It's 36 30, Faith Christian. You've known the name for more than 50 years, Alborado Construction, offering extensive design and build services all over Pennsylvania. John Alborado, now you're doing even more residential. We've partnered with Scholl's Design, a residential architectural firm, uh, offering designs out of their catalog. We also have the ability to do a custom design in-house for a client. And a remodel like the KISS FM home makeover, a huge success. That was a great project. Gave them a new uh, kitchen in about three days. Alborado Construction for residential and commercial builds. For the finest detail and handcrafted jewelry, there is one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Golden Strip in Williamsport. Let them make you an original. And remember, they are your diamond headquarters. Absolutely the best prices, bar none, on diamonds anywhere in central PA. And of course, the finest gemstones in the world today, from sapphires to tanzanite. Now is the time to let them make you an original. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, your diamond headquarters, Golden Strip. I said 36-40, because the 30, that's what the scoreboard said, but it is 34-30 as they waved that off. Dr. Dave Raymore has been meeting the dental needs of Williamsport area families for over 30 years. Why don't you go see him? General Cosmetic Dentistry, give him a call, 570-326-6828. Dr. Dave Raymore, Williamsport guy, Penn State guy, Pitt dental guy, been around a long time. All right, big call there on Snowden. Anderson looking. Finds Fish steps inside the arc, needs help, tries to go low. A nice steal by Forney. Not a good pass by Andrew. The man was right there in the position to step into that passing lane. Anderson steps in, knocks it away. It's loose and picked back up by the Golden Knights. Anderson goes down through the lane, up and good. Kevin Anderson makes it 34 32 with a minute and a half to play in the third quarter. Oh yeah, you give that ball to Kevin Anderson in the open court, and uh, and he he he's going to go to the basket. It's hard to cut him down. He can move both sides, right and left, and uh, get it right there. Foul inside on Newman, <laughs> trying to uh, as the man went down the lane. They're going to get a reach in foul. At this stage of the game, it's that not, may not be a bad foul. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's not a shooting foul. Right. For Lynch. His first. Almost got another one. Minute 20 to play in the third quarter. Two point lead by the Lions. Turnaround jumper, Snowden, no good. And the rebound to Fish. Here we go. On the attack, all the way through, up, no. Follow up, yes. We're tied at 34. Minute to go in the third quarter. The Knights got the opportunity, the numbers, and finished. Let's see what Faith Christian does there. They may, they, they've gone to four corners and run clock in this situation in the first half. We spent so much time early in the game when they were down, Nyman, when Newman was down 10, nothing talking about it. It's early, be patient, stay with it, stay with your game plan. Ooh, what do we got? A foul away from the action. Yeah. We yeah. got a foul inside. It's going to go against Jaden Lynch, although I, I, I'll tell you what, there was, 
there was a lot of elbows flying in there, and uh, that foul could have gone either way. That's his second. Yep. Non-shooting foul. Third team foul. 34.5 left in this quarter. Coyle back outside to Forney. He's been their unsung hero of this ball club today. When they've needed a spark, it's been Forney for it's done it for Faith Christian. Snowden outside against the Newman man-to-man. -man. 19 seconds and counting. Under 15. Forney attacks, feeds Snowden, cross the lane, puts it up the runner, no good. Anderson with six. Anderson looking, takes it, leaves it up, wow. it's good! And Newman takes the lead at the end of three quarters. 36, 34. And what an assist by Kevin Anderson on that play. That's a big play right there. 36, 34, we're through three. Eight years and gone strong, number one in Pennsylvania, top ten in the nation. What makes this place so successful? Uh, I think it's uh, the attitude and how we treat clients. Uh, we treat them not as clients or customers, but as friend and family. We take a lot of pride of always being there to help them. Uh, we're always available on our business or, or cell phone. It's a job of taking care of people. It's a job of being there when they need you. For over 30 years, Fairfield Auto Group has had an unyielding commitment to hometown values. And we know how important those are to you. At Fairfield, cars cost less, but our service remains unrivaled. Fairfield for fair deals. Fairfield. You're going to love us. Golden Knights with 17 third quarter points to take a lead. The Clothier of West 4th Street and William Sport Francis and his staff, they're having a midwinter clearance. 50% off select top coats and sweaters. Also, the spring Bobby Jones golf wear is in now at the Clothier, West 4th Street, William Sport. Newman had 19 points in the first half. They had 17 in the third quarter, and they held the Lions to nine points. What a great rally. We said they had to get some to fall, and they've been able to do it. I'll tell you one thing, one thing about this ball game, win or lose, this Newman team has heart. Fish looking for help. Anderson comes to help out. Lynch. Here's a rebound back up. Good! They're able to get it in with Marazzo, putting it up and in. Marazzo with a great rebound, good use of the body to keep the defender off of him to put it back. 38-34, biggest lead of the ball game for St. John Newman. We're early in the fourth and final quarter. Here's Forney, long shot, no good. Anderson picks it up. Anderson leads the break, steps through, feeds it baseline, knocked out of bounds by Snowden. It should be Newman ball. 7.02 left, as you see on the scoreboard up there behind the Pottsville area mats that protect the players when they run into the wall. Inside step through, floater, no good, but no over the back call, no. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a Faith Christian Academy basketball. What a rally by yeah. the Golden Knights, and, and, but it's a long way to go. And Newman, who is really outmanned player-wise, particularly in height in this ball game, and, and just in play, is, is outplaying this team right now. Newman back into his zone. Newman has changed defenses several times. They, last time down, they were in a man-to-man. -man. This time, they were in a 2-3 zone, and the Lions didn't recognize it and turned it over. Yeah, yep, they weren't on the same page, just threw it straight out of bounds. Kevin Anderson signals the play. And that's one of the things that Coach Mike Kirby's been able to do with his undefeated ball club. He's it's, telling them to spread out. Yep. <laughs> that's the play, spread out. Four-point lead with 6.21 to go. Lynch and Anderson sort of thing, catch on the baseline. No count. You've got Marazzo, and there now here they count. come up and set a pickup for Anderson. Looks to the corner, fish for the tray, short, no good. 
Rebound, Irvin. Right side, Forney. Goes in, feeds it to Snowden. Up good, and he's fouled. Up good, and he's fouled. That's a biggie. Jaden Lynch went up with him and hit him with the body. And if that's Lynch, that's three. Nope, they're not going to call it no, on. They're going to call it on uh, Trophy. Trophy. Yep. Yeah, that's his first. That's a good help for the Newman fan. Jake Snowden, the six-five senior at the line. No good. Rebound comes down to Newman. Lynch gets it to Trophy, and now here's Anderson. Anderson feeds it back out. Fake drive in, floater high off the rim. Twice didn't go down, and Snowden gets the rebound. A two-point lead by St. John Newman with five and a half to play. And a timeout's going to be called by Faith Christian Academy. They will call timeout. Is it going to be a full? Yes, going to be a full timeout. 529 left to play in the ball game. 38 for Newman, 36 for Faith Christian. You know by now, I love the clothier. Men's clothing at the finest in Central PA with the biggest selection in the state. Francis, how do you do it? You've got a huge selection for everybody. We try to fit everybody from head to toe with clothes from all the brands around the world. Fits you up exactly the way you like to look. West 4th Street, downtown Williamsport. Biggest selection, finest menswear in Pennsylvania. The clothier, downtown Williamsport. Well, welcome back to Barts Hall, 529 to play. Each team now has three timeouts left plus a media timeout. Alvarado Construction, John and his team, you know, they've got 50 plus years of experience in Alvarado Construction and commercial buildings all across Pennsylvania, many of them right here in our area. Now they're also providing the finest residential designs, so why don't you stop them in Alvarado Construction. Also see our friends at 505, 505 Washington Boulevard. When you're looking for great food, classy but casual dining, great steaks, chicken, and seafood too at 505 Washington Boulevard. There you see the score, 38-36, St. John Newman Regional Academy, five and a half to play. Each team with three timeouts, plus we'll have a media timeout. Snowden for the tie, can't get it. Rebound inside Lynch. Oh, the ball stolen back away, and put up, we're tied. Vitek steals it, we're tied at 38. Second tie of the ball game. Five minutes to go. Vitek just stood there and uh, forced him against the back line and, and uh, threw a bad pass. Double teaming at the midcourt line. Throw the ball, Fish saves along the sideline. Gets it back to Anderson. So a half court trap. Anderson trying to drive in. Looks to the corner. Driving across the shot, no good, but a whistle inside. Lynch's shot didn't fall, but there's a foul. And they get a chance to go to the free throw line to break the tie. Mike Kirby, if you look on this, just the edge of our picture, I don't think you can't quite see him right now, but we can. He's talking Kevin Anderson over there. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Person. He really played a good game in the first half, but I haven't seen him here in the second half yet. Got to make fouls. Jada Lynch trying once again to give his team a lead to see in the corner over there. 445 left in regulation. Up and good. There it is. The winner will play Girard College High School on Monday. Nine points now. 39-38 for Jaden. Forney. Newman trying to front a little bit inside when the man posts up. They look at Vitek, can't get the ball to him. This Lions club is a very patient team sometimes offensively. Forney backs it back out. Taking his time. No shot clock in Pennsylvania high school basketball. There are many states that do have shot clocks, but not here. Driving is Snowden, puts it up and in. But yeah, you run clock and then score like that. That's a that's a good plan. There are 12 points now for Zeke Snowden. 40-39. Faith Christian. In the corner, Lynch attacks, knocked away by Urban. Out of bounds. It'll be a Newman ball on the offensive baseline. Timeout on the floor. 
3.47 left to play in the game. Timeout with the score. Faith Christian Academy, 40. St. John Newman Regional Academy, 39. The new go-to place for great food in East End is 505. That's right, 505. 505 Washington Boulevard, seven days a week. They have great steaks and pasta, great sandwiches and salads, homemade soups, amazing homemade cheesecake, and they also do catering. 505 at 505 Washington Boulevard, right next door. Don't forget about Boulevard Brews with a huge selection. 505. Ken Sawyer and Babe Mayer talking to you. Our friends at KISS 1027 with the Christmas morning show, the 80s to now. Gary will be there fresh and early on Monday morning to give you all the great excitement and entertainment. He'll make you laugh on the way to work, even if you don't want to. All right, full court pressure on the inbound. No good, but a foul. No good, the, the shot with a foul will be called. We mentioned earlier about being aggressive. Coyle picking up his, nope, picking up, uh, it'll be Vitek picking up his second foul. 3.46 left, tie, 40 all. It's Kevin Anderson time right now. You're down to under four minutes to go into the, to the Eastern final and, and it's, it's time to pick it up. Now, I say that with tongue in cheek because Kevin's run the court the entire game. I don't know how much gas he has left in his tank. 17 points now for Kevin Anderson, the Delaware product. Be headed to Delaware. Snowden looks to step in. Back out to Coyle for three off left. You can see that one from here. Anderson. Anderson attacks Vitek behind the back. He goes all the way, puts it up. It's good. Wow. Anderson gives the Newman Knights a three-point lead. Coast 40 coast. staying back. They tried to get it to him, but Newman got back. Vitek drives the lane in and out. No good. Lynch gets the rebound. Jane Lynch with a key rebound. A three-point lead with three minutes to play. The winner plays Gerard College. The winner of that one plays at Hershey. Thursday afternoon at 2 o'clock at the Giant Center for a state title. Anderson backs it out, looks at Mike Kirby. Mike giving him all sorts of signals. He's gonna let him stand there as long as they will stay away from it. But Kevin, if they don't get, now they started to do the five count. He gave the ball up, almost lost it on the floor, ball loose, and it will be not be backcourt. Fish saves it, gives it to Chofi. Back to Fish, Fish for three, no, it won't go. Back. back up, no good, and Vitek will bring it out. 43-40, and a timeout's going to be called by Faith Christian. 30-second timeout. 30-second timeout. 2.23 left to go. Newman Knights lead by three. Ray-Ban, Nike, Polo Ralph Lauren, Maui Jim, Costa, Gucci, Wiley X. Price Optical has the widest selection of sunglass eyewear in the area. Attention gas workers and outdoorsmen and women. Wiley X sunglasses are ANSI safety rated and military ballistic certified. At Price Optical, we set our sights on your vision. Our focus is on providing you complete quality eyewear. Price Optical, for the finest in eyewear. Palco Federal. Well, the ball's going to be taken inbounds on the near sideline. They are two timeouts left for Faith Christian. St. John Newman still has three timeouts remaining. And there are no more media timeouts. So that's what we've got. Snowden. Vitek fakes the three. 
Down low, double team, back into the line. Snowden charges through, puts it up and in. It's a one point game with two minutes to go. Zeke wow. Snowden with 14 points. Her son is back in the ball game. It was him. Fish, yeah, Fish, Person are both in the ball game with Chofi and Lynch for St. John Newman. One point lead, spreading the floor a little bit again to St. John Newman. Forney comes out, give it back to Anderson. Anderson into the lane, kicks it back out. Minute and a half to go. Newman with a one point lead in the ball. Neither team is in the one and one. Neither team is in a one and one situation yet. Ball thrown away. Miscommunication and the ball goes over with 119 left. Faith Christian Academy. There you see Coyle with a chance to throw it in. And a timeout's going to be called. All right. 119 left to play. Timeout 43 42. You know by now, I love the clothier. Men's clothing at the finest in Central PA with the biggest selection in the state. Francis, how do you do it? You've got a huge selection for everybody. We try to fit everybody from head to toe with clothes from all the brands around the world. Fit you up exactly the way you like to look. West 4th Street, downtown Williamsport. Biggest selection, finest menswear in Pennsylvania. The clothier, downtown Williamsport. The crowds are stirred on both sides of Barnes Hall. Dr. David Raymore on Washington Boulevard in Williamsport. Dr. David Raymore, of course, has been meeting family dental needs around here for over 30 years. Your family will love to go to Dr. David Raymore and get the vitally important dental help you need. Get the help you need from Dr. David Raymore in Williamsport. 326-6828. Alborado Construction, John and his team have 50 plus years of experience in commercial buildings all across Pennsylvania. Now see what they can do for you. They're doing the finest residential designs too. Contact John at Alborado Construction. One timeout left for Faith Christian Academy. They are down one with the ball in a minute 19 to go. They called the timeout. And, and they may well hold the ball and go for one shot. They've done it before. Let's see what they decide. They're moving people around the paint on the low post with Snowden and Vitek and Coyle. They keep moving them. And one minute. Vitek looks in, trying to get a back door, not there. They go down low. Urban backs in, kicks it out. Vitek for the tray, doesn't get it. Ball saved by Urban off of a Newman player out of bounds. So the ball will remain Faith Christian Academy, 48.1. Remember, Newman leads by one. Now, as I said, neither team is close to putting the other into the one and one. There's only 14 fouls each side. So fouling to try to make him do something, it's going to take a while. Morazzo comes into the ball game. We're going to see an offense-defense thing going on here right now. This is Forney and Coyle. Irvin. Irvin steps in, kicks it out. Snowden hits it for two. Okay, 44-43. Got 30 seconds to win the ball game. Anderson goes down, steps will be caught on Kevin Anderson. Now I think Mike Kirby's gonna call a timeout. No, he wants him to wipe the floor up. I think he is gonna call a timeout as well. Let's see what he's gonna do here. The teams are going to the side, but they're asking for a towel to wipe things up over there. So I don't know if I don't know if they're taking a, yes, they are going to take a timeout. Timeout, Newman, 29.6 left to go. Let's make this a 30-second timeout, please. Jim Moff, Moff & Associates, you've been at it for 30-plus years. The biggest kick you must get is helping so many people out achieve the proper retirement with the money they really need, right? Correct. Now, there's some folks uh, that really don't have a lot of assets, but we're able to help them to achieve uh, financial success for retirement. Uh, a little bit of discipline and some savings each month will get them there. Jim Moff, Moffin Associates, moffinassociates.com. 
There you see the Faith Christian Academy Lions. They have a one point lead with 29.6 points left in this ball game. 44-43 over St. John Newman. Mike Kirby called the timeout. He has two more remaining. Now his challenge is, is how do I get the ball back? Yeah, yeah. They have the lead and the ball with 29.6 seconds left. And they've held the ball for long periods of time. It's going to take a big play by Newman in order to get a shot back in this ball game. All right, here come the Newman Knights. As you see, walking out under the court, they've got the plan. Faith Christian has to go the full length of the court. I see Fish. Where's Anderson, Lynch, Chofi. And I believe for Sun. Yep. 29.6. Full court pressure. They get the ball inbounds. 25 seconds, and there is a foul. But That's going to be the third against Kevin Anderson. That's his third. Fifth team foul. Just the fifth team foul. So they've got to foul a couple of more times if they want to get him to the foul line. For Faith Christian Academy, they've got their, their original starting lineup out there. Coyle looking, finds Snowden. Trophy guarding him. Now they'll come in double team. Almost had the steal, but there's a foul call. Just before he got rid of the ball. So that is team foul number six against St. John Newman. All right, that's all they have to give away now. They got to, and, and they're running, they just ran uh, uh, five, six seconds off the clock. Or what was it, 29? Yeah, they nine, ran, they ran down nine to 19.2 second. yeah. seconds. Another full timeout being called by Mike Kirby. 19.2 left, it's 44-43, Faith Christian leading St. John Newman. You know, when you talk pizza in Williamsport, you first talk about Park Pizza, a built town tradition since 1960. For the best in pizza, stromboli, and wings, you've got to believe it's Park Pizza. And now you've got to check out the brand new Bohemoth, the giant 28-inch hand-tossed pizza, the largest hand-tossed pizza in the area. Park Pizza, take out, delivery, or dine in Memorial Avenue, Williamsport. Call Scott today, 322-9024, Park Pizza. Why, the name is Furlinger, Bud Furlinger. River Valley Transit's original driver, date back to 1933. This baby goes back to 62. Sort of reminds me of my third wife, Shirley. You can see it here at the Peter Hurdy Transportation Museum. You know, we've come a long way, but we still have the lowest discounted fares in the state. We cover the region from Jersey Shore to Hughesville. This is the new Church Street Transportation Center. And this baby is our new hybrid bus. River Valley Transit, dedicated to get you there. Ball being inbounds. Okay, here we go. 19.2 seconds left, Newman trails by one. Next time they foul, they will send somebody to the free throw line. The question is, how long do you wait? Almost a steal, they have a steal. And now a double team against Lynch. The ball goes, and he get a timeout. He got, must, let's see, did he get a timeout? Now the clock says 11.2, and Mike Kirby immediately yep. came out and said, wait a minute, the clock should have stopped sooner. So Lynch, we're going to keep it here. Okay, let's see how many how many seconds we're going to put back we'll, on the clock. We'll keep it here. 11.2 is what it says now, and the officials will talk about it. They will be a timeout by Newman to get the ball because they stole the ball. Jaden Lynch stole it. He was double teamed against the sideline and he called a 30 second timeout. That is Newman's last timeout of the ball game. They are out of timeouts as you see the scoreboard. Where we're watching is that big figure at the top of the scoreboard to see if any additional time would be put back up. And they're going to put three seconds back up. 14.2. So Newman will have the ball with no timeouts, 14.2 seconds left in the game. And they will have the ball right in front of their bench. There you see Mike Kirby. And, and in the front court. Mike moves out of the way. And, and they got Kevin Anderson surrounded. Yeah, three guys on him. Lynch looking to get it to Anderson anyway. 
Anderson goes to the hole, throws it up short, no good, but there's a foul call with 10.4 seconds left. A foul to put Kevin Anderson at the free throw line. What's Kevin at the free throw line today, Tom? If you'll help me out, please. See where he stands. Two for two? Two, for two yeah. He can tie it, and then he can give a one-point lead. Kevin Anderson, there's a good picture of him. In and out, no good. Now he goes for the tie. Now he goes for the tie. Look at his concentration. Takes Big a moment deep. for a young man. Deep breath. In and out, no good, but Newman gets the rebound. They get it back out. He rolls in, baseline feet blocked away with 4.3 seconds left. Oh my, they did a great wow. job of getting the rebound down low, but then the shot gets blocked. 4.3, Newman ball. Anderson falls down, making the cut, puts up a three, no good. Snowden gets the rebound, and Faith Christian Academy wins the ball game. 44, 43 the final, and Faith Christian Academy in a thriller will move on to play Girard College High School in the Eastern Final. A lot of what ifs as you see the team shake hands, a great ball game, a really thrilling ball game played by two outstanding teams, but when it came down to the end, the Knights had their chance, my friend, and couldn't put it in. Well, Kenny, you're right. Uh, you know, what a heart the Knights had to fight back in this ball game and uh, do the things that they, they had to do. Kevin Anderson missing two foul shots, very uncommon for him, but what a game he played throughout this ball game from both ends of the court. He got rebounds on one end, took it coast to coast, got sh shots on the other end, and they did everything to try to stop him and still couldn't stop him. Final score, 44-43. Our post-game show for Barts Hall and Pottsville is coming up next. Well, 38 years in the making, Rennie Road Armel Allstate is number one in Pennsylvania. They continue to evolve, and now John Grant has joined the company. Tell me more about your new role here at Rennie Road Armel. I'm here as the benefits manager with my daughter Jennifer. We administer programs to local owners and businesses to help them maintain their employees by offering voluntary benefits that they can pick up, such as accident and disability. But one of the main things we're going to talk about today is our cancer program. Uh, as you know, in the country, one out of two males and one out of three females are suffer with cancer and our programs are made to supplement them talk about if they end up having a a mammogram or a colonoscopy that's paid for transportation paid for but the big thing is their initial diagnosis or if they have uh, radiation and chemo it pays ten thousand dollars to them directly that they don't have to pay to any other medical institution or any doctor it goes directly to them to help, help offset their financial woes during this time of loss why the name is furlinger bud furlinger River Valley Transit's original driver date back to 1933. This baby goes back to 62. Sort of reminds me of my third wife, Shirley. You can see it here at the Peter Hurdy Transportation Museum. You know, we've come a long way, but we still have the lowest discounted fares in the state. We cover the region from Jersey Shore to Hughesville. This is the new Church Street Transportation Center. And this baby is our new hybrid bus. River Valley Transit, dedicated to get you there. Jim Off, like myself, like a lot of people out there, everybody's thinking about retirement, but do you have enough money to retire and have the same lifestyle? You've uh, helped so many people find financial independence. Jim, it's about an appointment and a game plan, and you've done that for a lot of people, right? We sure have. I've been doing it for 32 years, and we have a lot of folks with very good success stories. They were able to retire, and this may take a little bit more discipline and a little bit more savings, they can get there pretty fast for retirement. Proper investments, the proper game plan, and the bottom line is financial independence. Somebody that didn't think they could save the money, but you've helped them every step of the way. That's what you guys do every day here. Yes, we do. We do that every day, and we help, again, we help a lot of folks for financial success. 
Talk about retirement savings. Talk to Jim Moff, Moffitt Associates at MoffittAssociates.com. Ray-Ban, Nike, Polo Ralph Lauren, Maui Jim, Costa, Gucci, Wiley X. Price Optical has the widest selection of sunglass eyewear in the area. Attention gas workers and outdoorsmen and women. Wiley X sunglasses are ANSI safety rated and military ballistic certified. At Price Optical, we set our sights on your vision. Our focus is on providing you complete quality eyewear. Price Optical, for the finest in eyewear. You know, BJ's Steak and Rib House of Sealands Grove has been a Central PA classic since 1982. And they offer Central PA's only authentic oyster bar, available open to close seven days a week, hot and cold selections from the cold waters of New England to the Canadian Maritimes at BJ's. Plus, they offer Central PA's premium house-dry aid steaks, all hand-cut in BJ's own butcher shop. BJ's Steak and Ribs, a Central PA classic in Sealands Grove. Loves clothes and her phone. Still willing to be seen with you in public, depending on the location. Jamie at 14 and you. Available for a limited time only. Don't wait to make the memories that will last a lifetime at Walt Disney World Resort, the place where dreams come true. Now you can afford to celebrate your special moments at Walt Disney World Resort. Contact your local AAA officer. Go to AAA.com slash Disney to learn how. Welcome back to the Fairfield Auto Group post-game show here for Barts Hall in Pottsville. I'm Ken Sawyer along with Bay Mayor, 44-43 Faith Christian Academy gives St. John Newman their first loss of the year and knocks them out of the quarterfinals of the state Class A playoffs. But boy, what a ball game we got to see, Ken. You know, I, I, I think the heart of Newman to hang with this team and take it right down to the wire and I think some fatigue set in towards the end of the game for him, but uh, uh, it, it was just a tremendous game for Newman. Unfortunately, they could get that last bucket to drop and uh, comes up with a loss here, and they're eliminated from the state playoffs. But uh, again, what a game. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so distraught, you know, <laughs> thinking they were so close to coming back and winning that game. Uh, to a neutral person, they had to be saying, boy, that was one of the best high school basketball games I've ever seen. Well, when it started out, Faith Christian Academy led 10 to nothing in the ball game. And from there, St. John Newman then cut it down to 25-19 at halftime. And all of a sudden, Newman then got excited in the third quarter. They scored 17 points in the third quarter after only scoring 19 the entire first half. But in the fourth quarter, several opportunities. Newman had the lead, and then our River Valley Transit big play of the game, as you'll see, Zeke Snowden, who ends up with 16 points in the ball game, came up with a big basket here. Dumps him off to the side, the baseline jumper, and that put them out in front. The Newman Knights then came back, got a great big steal. That's our River Valley big play. Jade Lynch got a steal. The Newman Knights had several opportunities, including Kevin Anderson at the free throw line, but they could not convert. And the ball game will go to the guys from Sellersville, PA. Well, and uh, you're right. Uh, you know, Kevin Anderson, who's usually deadly from the foul line. But I tell you what, I think at the end of the game, you saw a lot of fatigue in the Newman team. They did not go as deep as Faith Christian did. Faith Christian seemed to keep the fresher legs, and Newman just pushed and pushed and pushed. And I think oftentimes, like in the case of, of Kevin Anderson, you lose your legs. And when you lose your legs, all of a sudden that shot's not there. You're not quite getting enough oomph on it. And uh, he doesn't get one to drop, but he, he played a whale of a game. They did everything they could to take him out of the game, and as I said, uh, they couldn't do it. 44-43 the final. When we come back, we'll look at some of the stats here on our Fairfield Auto Group postgame show on the Ready Road Armour Game of the Week. And we'll wrap up the season of basketball in Central Pennsylvania right after this timeout. And we're back at our Fairfield Auto Group postgame show with Rick Quigley, where it all started here in 14 car lines, soon to be nine locations because we're here at BMW, but pretty soon a brand new BMW store. That's exciting. That's right, Gary. We've got a huge new store going up. We've already broke, broken ground. It's uh, behind our Honda and Toyota store down in Muncie, and uh, it's going to be a brand new state-of-the-art showroom, uh, nine, ten-car showroom. 
Wow. 22,000 square foot facility. It's going to be uh, unbelievable. How soon do we look for that in 2017? Well, we should be uh, in there, in, I'm going to say, in the spring of 2017. Sounds fantastic. Right after basketball this year. Rick, I think you have more inventory for BMWs than I've ever seen. We uh, we are selling a lot more, uh, which is enabling us to, to build a new store, and they've given us a lot more inventory. As you can see, the lot is full of new and certified pre-owned out front, uh, and that's only going to increase and get bigger and better as we go and get in a new store. Yeah, you know, the, the 3 Series is great, 5 Series right up to the 7 Series, but when it comes to the uh, Sport Utility Vehicle, the Sport Activity Vehicle, those cars are fantastic, starting with, what, you the X1 right on up? Yeah, we have uh, pretty much everyone covered, and actually next year we have an X7 coming out, which is on the 7 Series platform. It'll be a full-size Sport Utility, and uh, looking forward to that very much. Should be an 8-passenger. Should be fantastic. And the other thing about BMW, certified pre-owned. If you want to get into one that looks brand spanking new and still be the talk of your neighborhood, get in one that's maybe a couple years old that looks brand new. It, and it comes with a fantastic uh, BMW warranty on it, yes. Got to check it out. Fairfield BMW, part of the Fairfield Auto Group in the new location coming in spring 2017. Rick, let's keep it moving for Fairfield. That's what we're here for. Thanks, Gary. Hey, more of the post game. We'll be right back. For the finest detail and handcrafted jewelry, there is one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Golden Strip in Williamsport. Let them make you an original. And remember, they are your diamond headquarters. Absolutely the best prices, bar none, on diamonds anywhere in Central PA. And of course, the finest gemstones in the world today, from sapphires to tanzanite. Now is the time to let them make you an original. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, your diamond headquarters, Golden Strip. You've known the name for more than 50 years, Alborado Construction, offering extensive design and build services all over Pennsylvania. John Alborado, now you're doing even more residential. We've partnered with Scholl's Design, a residential architectural firm, uh, offering designs out of their catalog. We also have the ability to do a custom design in-house for a client. And a remodel like the KISS FM home makeover, a huge success. That was a great project. Gave them a new uh, kitchen in about three days. Alborado Construction for residential and commercial builds. Griggs's Coffee and Peanuts and Dolly's Diner serving three meals seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., 3 p.m. on Sundays. House-made desserts, including famous Griggs's Sticky Buns, Coffee, Peanuts, and Peanut Butter, and specialty drinks. Griggs's Coffee and Peanuts and Dolly's Diner just off North Loyal Sock Avenue in Mentorsville. KISS 102.7, the 80s to now. Fairfield post-game show for the Fairfield Auto Group. You know, Mart's Hall is a great place to play basketball. We've been here more times than I can count. And yet, there are many times we've gone home like we are today with a sad face, just as we did on uh, Thursday night when both Mil the Millionaires and the Spartans came up losing. This is not an easy place to win because you're always playing really good teams when you come here. Well, that, that's one of the problems with the state playoffs. Only only at the end of the season is one team happy. Everybody else got knocked out and, and it, that's just the way it is. But, uh, you know, great effort by, by Newman to, uh, to, to play in this ball game and, and uh, boy, this came up a little short and you know, it, it it happens that way. It's it's sad that it happens to your team. You don't like that, but but uh, you know, I tell you, I thought all around from the coaching to the players, I thought it was all hard out there tonight for Newman. And and uh, it, it, if you if you like heart like I do, you deserve to win. You know, and it was disappointing that they didn't come up with the win. But uh, while we were at com commercial just a few moments ago, the Golden Knights came out of the locker room and had a nice contingent of Knights fans gave them a real nice ovation. 27-1, and one. a lot of people would take that. Mike Kirby and his Golden Knights will take it. They'll be disappointed because they came so close to playing one more game. They did it with some really good coming back. They outscored 17-9 uh, to nine in the third quarter, but they got outscored 10-7. But they had a chance to win. 
when you, coaches always say you want to put your players in a chance right. to win, and they did that with a great steal. They had free throws. They had a couple of shots after that. A great rebound to keep the ball alive, but they lose by a point. Anderson ends up with 19 points, 15 rebounds, three blocks, and seven assists, according to our stat man Tom Losh today. Uh, we'll find Jane Lynch with nine. Noah Persona had seven. Uh, Chofi with four. Fish with two. Marazzo with two. A lot of the shots that those guys normally hit just didn't go today, and that's one reason they end up a point short. Snowden, we just showed you his big game a few moments ago. Zeke Snowden led the way with 16. Forney was, I think, the, the big surprise for them. 12 points, and most of those were in the first quarter. Vitek ended up with eight. Um, all the other numbers really were in favor of Newman. Eight from 12 from the foul line. Uh, out rebounded uh, Faith Christian 33 22. Turnovers, though, hurt Newman 13 8. They made too many turnovers, and of course, that cost them the game, too. There's lots of, and this is the kind of point where you go to look at the video of the game as a coach and you find a million things wrong. But as you pointed out, what you find out right about Newman is they never gave up, they never stopped playing, and that's why they are champions. You're, you're right, Kenny. It's been a great season. It's been a great season. We've seen a lot of great basketball, and, uh, uh, we're going to be saying goodbye now for Gary Chrisman, who, yep. who couldn't be here today, was hoping Newman would win and we would see him Monday. But, you know, what he would say is we'll be back next football season and we'll be ready to go for the 31st year. Well, it's been great with uh, from my friend Babe Mayer for Gary Chrisman, my longtime colleague who uh, we might point out got the Fran Fisher Award last weekend at the uh, Football Foundation Central Pennsylvania chapter, and most deservedly so, for Mike Strunk, who is the man that makes the magic happen so that you can see these great, great games. We hope you've enjoyed another great season of Cable Sports and Web Weekly Live, and we hope you'll be back with us for another season next year. For all of my colleagues, I'm Ken Sawyer, Faith Christian Academy 44, St. John Newman 43, so long from Mart's Hall. Denied the shot, millionaires off the break, Scott, right pass, Simmons! Myers, Henry, Gettler, the lob to the big guy off the puck fake. Yes, that's they got to keep going back to him. Kick out. Goff gives it back to Lynch in the paint. Nice feed to Anderson. Millionaires with nine. Off the drive. Pretty play by Wilson. Junior drives, misses. Mason, yes. Better make it right now. You can't wait too late. Fish from three. And a good rebound by Simmons. Simmons runs it up in traffic and Scott jams it up.